Um, uh, we're getting a few questions from people about returning to the parish um, if it is safe to do so. I know you're saying that if you can not to return right now, um, but roadways right now, getting, you know, if they're in Texas or Florida, getting to the West Bank of Jefferson Parish, um, would they be able to? I think everything is open today. Uh, the only remaining spot on I-10 that was not open as of yesterday was a stretch of I-10 in Laplace that took mm -hmm. some flood water going towards, you know, if you're driving towards Houston, mm -hmm. out that way. Um, but that was rectified, and I believe everything is open. They're encouraging people to not use it unless you're an emergency worker and you need mm -hmm. to use it. Um, but obviously a lot of people are just driving it to drive it. Uh, but that going west is, is open and going east is open as well, and there's a lot of traffic coming back east now. So I think getting back in, nobody's stopping you from getting in. It's open. It's just advised that you don't come back because mm -hmm. of what you're coming back to. Yeah. There, there have not been any injuries, uh, or I guess serious injuries, reports of serious injuries or deaths in JP, correct? No, there was one fatality in uh, Lafitte that Sheriff oh. Lapinto talked about yesterday okay. that he had not determined yet what the circumstances were, if sure. it was a storm-related fatality or if someone passed away in their home after the storm or before the storm. I mean, but that's pr honestly pretty remarkable when you consider how many yeah. people were stuck by this storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of the people who stayed really regretted staying because this if the storm doesn't take and I'm not trying to play meteorologist but if the storm doesn't take that 30 or 40 mile swing to the east like mm -hmm. it did then we're in a much different situation than we are today but that little movement east where it veered from the path didn't bode well for us yeah I think I know we're talking you know everyone's know the damage and everything too but I think it's important to bring up the levee system and the protections in place yes did work very well. This was a real test for a lot of them. The first really big test, Zeta was a test to a certain extent, but this was a category four that hung around and didn't get out of Louisiana for what? Like 13 hours Yeah, 13, or 14 something. hours yeah. afterwards. And it held up as designed. The levee system worked. Mm -hmm. um, billions of dollars were put into it and it, it passed a really big test. And that's a relief to a lot of people but it performed as expected so we're, we're happy about that. After that, do you have to go through and I mean is there an inspection process to see after this storm, if there's any repairs that need to be made to those levees in case we get something like this again? Yeah, I'm sure the Army Corps of Engineers, I'm yeah. sure, looks at every inch of levee in Jefferson Parish sure. after a storm like this to see if there's any sort of movement in some of those, the T walls that are in there, the concrete mm -hmm. walls that failed during uh, Katrina and the 17th Street Canal to make sure that there's no movement or no leakage or seepage anywhere. Um, that's beyond me, but I'm sure there, sure, there, there are highly mm -hmm. qualified people there who, who take care of those things and make sure that they're buttoned up for the next storm. Mm -hmm. 